Hey folks, Lewis here. This is Shooting Up North right here on the Impact Lounge. And I want to jump on uh, just for, for um, uh, I guess you could say a mini podcast, a uh, very short podcast. I want to discuss uh, some of the releases, uh, that the, the recent releases of the WWE uh, and who I uh, feel would be a good fit uh, in Impact Wrestling. And I know uh, my boy BQ was on. I think he has two um, podcasts as well where he discusses that. But I figured I, I'd jump on and give my two cents as well. Uh, so, uh, but before I get into that, I, there's one thing that I that was reading just before I hit record is uh, these w, the WWE releases, um, Raw and SmackDown releases, still have the 90 day non compete clauses against the WWE. I think that's total bullshit. And if, excuse my language there, but we're in very very tough times right now. There's no way in hell that the WWE should be laying a 90 day non compete clause against any of the wrestlers that are released because of they get a an opportunity to work for like say for AEW or or for Impact because uh, they're both um, taping shows right now uh, in studios and not in front of a live audience. They should be they should be given that opportunity. They should be allowed to earn some money if the WWE is releasing them because of the whole COVID nineteen uh, uh, pandemic. There's like I said, no way in hell that they should be held hostage for 90 days um because it's it's not their fault that they're being released uh, like i said it's tough times right now everyone's getting laid off and and that's that's really um that's really effed up <laughs> in, in my opinion that the wwe is going to hold uh these guys to 90 day non-compete clauses i think nxt has 30 day non-compete clauses which is not as bad as having to wait three months before you can go look for work, especially especially uh, during uh, these times. Uh, so shame on you, WWE, for for um, not uh, waiving those 90-day non-compete clauses uh, for these uh, release wrestlers. So let's move on to some of the talent that I feel would be great, great additions to Impact Wrestling. Uh, so let's start with Rusev. I think Rusev would be phenomenal and i'm sure everybody listening <laughs> agrees with me and i'm just thinking a great scenario would be michael elgin wins the impact um heavyweight championship and and it, it, that's a uh, my in my um opinion that's a foregone conclusion he's good he's the next impact world champion uh he wins the title lights go out they come back on rusev's in the ring and takes out michael elgin and then we Right off the bat, we have a Michael Elgin Rusev feud for the Impact Wrestling World Championship. I think that would be absolutely freaking phenomenal. I would love to see that happen. And there are so many guys in uh, in Impact that I think Rusev would have a, a great match with. I mean, some of the guys just think um, Rusev against Moose, Rusev against Eddie Edwards, Rusev against Falaba would be very, very entertaining. And even you know Josh Alexander, a huge. Josh Alexander fan, Josh Alexander against against Rusev. So there, there's a lot of uh, opportunity there um, for great matches um, involving Rusev. Uh, so would we'll love Rusev in Impact Wrestling, and I think it could happen. I think it can happen. Um, so um, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see Rusev in uh, in Impact Wrestling. Another another talent I would love to see in Impact Wrestling is uh, Diana Perazzo. Now Diana Perazzo. Um, she um, before she was with uh, NXT, um, she was um, a talent for Ring of Honor, and she had some phenomenal, phenomenal matches. And I'm using that word a lot. <laughs> I'll, I'll change it. She had some great matches, uh, some great matches with uh, Kelly Klein. Uh, they they had a couple of wars in in um, Ring of Honor, and Diana Perazzo is a terrific talent. And I was reading that Diana Diana Perazzo, uh, she was looking to get released anyway, so she was looking to move on. Perazzo in on the Impact Wrestling Knockouts roster would be absolutely incredible. She's so talented, and um, I'm I'm saying she was one of her release. The the rumors is that she wanted her release from NXT because they weren't using her. I don't think I, I don't I don't really watch it, but I, I was reading that they don't they weren't really using her uh, to her fullest potential. Uh, that wouldn't be the case with Impact Wrestling. Uh, she would be an absolute star on that knockouts roster, and uh, I would love to see uh, Diana Perazzo. I mean, 
if you if you're a if you're a woman uh, in professional wrestling, Impact Wrestling is the place to go because hands down they have the best women's roster in all of professional wrestling. Uh, I could see AEW possibly making a, um, a play for her, but I I I, I see her a very good chance with her ending up uh, with Impact and. Um, a lot of a uh, lot of possibilities um, she could work with. Uh, oh, I would love to see her against Tessa Blanchard. Um, I would love to see her against the Town Valkyrie. Uh, Jordan Grace is just this. The the sky's the limit. The sky will be the limit for her in Impact Wrestling. And I mentioned Kelly Klein, and I know uh, BQ mentioned this on one of his. Um, um, one of his uh, podcasts where he was talking about the releases. I would love to see Kelly Klein in Impact Wrestling as well. If if they sign Perazzo and Kelly Klein and let them renew their feud, my goodness, the only only people that are going to win uh, are the the real the the real people that are going to win that feud would be the Impact Wrestling fans because we would be in for uh, a, a treat uh, watching these two uh, go at it. Um, in, in another feud uh, they had like i said great matches in a ring of honor and i would love to see them bring that that feud uh to impact wrestling so yep diana perazzo i feel has a really good chance at ending up in impact wrestling and i'm going to say the same for kelly klein so there there you go uh kurt angle let's talk about kurt angle that this is an interesting release i'd like to see kurt angle come back to impact wrestling I know he's had his best matches uh, with with Impact, um, Classic Wars against AJ Styles, Samoa Joe. Uh, and I would like to see him come back in Impact Wrestling, but not as a wrestler. Here's here's my idea. Here's my idea for Kurt Angle. I know um, Jackson Stone, Shogun Jackson Stone, uh, the recent winner of Gut Check, is um, going to make his debut uh, for Impact Wrestling. I'm not sure when, but he's eventually going to make his debut. He won the contract uh, by winning that competition. I say bring in Kurt Angle. Let Kurt Angle be Jackson Stone's manager because that would give Jackson Stone a huge rub and there would be a lot of uh, fans that would suddenly take interest in uh, in in Jackson Stone because if you just put Jackson Stone uh, out by himself I, I don't think I know he's he was on gut check but I don't uh, I don't think he's a big enough name yet where he could just go out on his own uh, but if you put him with with Kurt Angle if Kurt Angle shows up and say, and meets Jackson Stone and and says, you know, Jackson Stone, I I, uh, I think you have, I think you have what it takes, kid. I think you have potential. Um, I think you just need a, a manager, and I'd like to be your manager. I think that would be fantastic. I think that would be f- absolutely fantastic. I'm not saying start Kurt Angle through a three four year deal. Bring him in, you know, bring him in maybe for a year or so and have him manage for Jackson Stone until Jackson Stone gets over. And once Jackson Stone gets over, then maybe Jackson Stone could turn on, on Kurt Angle or something like that. And then Kurt Angle could bring somebody else in. Um, maybe even like uh, the runner-up, like Ty- Tyler Turver, uh, and have a feud between uh, Turver and Jackson Stone. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's just my idea. My idea on how they could bring in, bring back Kurt Angle. Uh, unless they want to bring Kurt Angle back and to work behind the scenes but i think kurt angle is just is still a big enough name where you, know, you 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 don't want to have him just working behind the scenes you want to get him on camera um and it would also the name kurt angle also would i think bring a lot more viewers uh to uh, the impact wrestling uh, tv show uh so that's uh, that could happen i'd like to see kurt angle back uh, with impact wrestling let's talk about leo rush i think leo rush would be an absolute incredible addition to uh, the X Division. Uh, Leo Rush, extremely, extremely talented. Again, another guy I don't think was being used to his fullest potential uh, in the WWE. I know... Uh, the the clips that I that I saw he was uh, I think a manager for Bobby Lashley uh, I, I think he was a cruiserweight champion at one point but prior to him uh, signing with NXT he had some just terrific matches I saw up here for for Smash Wrestling uh, so he's very 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 talented uh, if they just uh, let him wrestle again um, the way he's able to wrestle uh, Leo Rush can be a huge star for the X Division and I'm thinking of he can have some tremendous matches against uh, Ace Austin uh, Chris Bay uh, Daga um, Desmond Xavier um, to just name a few uh, he, again Leo Rush would be absolutely tremendous um, 
in the X Division, and I can see him winning that title and holding it for a while. Uh, and I think he's only like 23, 23, 24 years old, so he's still very, very young. Even though he's been wrestling for quite some time, he's still very, very young. And um, it would just he would be a huge asset uh, to the uh, Impact Wrestling roster. One more thing, I want to go back to Rusev for a second because I was just thinking of one name. I think Rusev and Larry D would have an absolutely outstanding match just to just pop into my head right now larry d very very talented uh rusev very very talented i think they would have an absolute war um for impact wrestling so that's another guy that i think um rusev would be um would have a tremendous match with and uh another name one more name i want to mention sarah logan sarah logan i think would be a uh great addition and here's my idea now, whether you whether you like the idea or not, you know that's that's perfectly fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but just an idea popped into my head. I know she's not originally from Ohio, uh, but this is professional wrestling. Anybody can be built from Ohio. How about adding a female member to OVE? I know Sammy Callahan no longer with OVE; he's on his own. But how about adding Sarah Logan as the first female member of OVE? Uh, again, I think she's from Kentucky, but again, like I said, it's professional wrestling. Uh, people can be billed from anywhere. Uh, so th- that's my idea. Have Add her as a uh, female member of OVE and have her um, uh, start taking out members of the knockout, Knockouts roster or getting involved in matches, of course. And uh, maybe, um, maybe they, they could add Tara Logan and she could start helping them maybe actually win a few matches. She could get involved and help them cheat, and you know maybe uh, OVE could actually win a few matches um, uh, with, the help of, <laughs> with the help of Sarah Logan. Uh, but that, that's, that's my idea. That's, I, for some reason, I see her as a female, female member of OVE. Um, again, whether you think it's a good idea or not, um, that's perfectly fine. And uh, feel, feel, feel free to comment on that as well uh, in the comments. And, um, and that's it. And that, those are, the, those are the, um, my choices uh, who I feel I uh, would like to see uh, on the Impact Wrestling roster. And, and again, WWE, I'm going to say it again, shame on you. Shame on you for holding them to these 90-day non-compete clauses. Before I wrap this up, I just want to say that I do have a few interviews coming up. Uh, I just conducted an interview uh, with um, Gut Check uh, competitor. Uh, he was the runner-up, uh, Tyler Turver. Uh, we had a uh, nice conversation about uh, Gut Check and his career, um, and that's coming up um, uh, either next week or the week after. Uh, we have, uh, looks like I'm going to be conducting an interview with uh, Rohit Raju as well, a uh, member of the Desi Hit Squad. Uh, that should be coming up. And I don't want to, I don't want to give out this name, but I'm in uh, negotiations with a very, very, very major star of Impact Wrestling. And uh, hopefully I could get that interview done as well. Again, not going to say any names. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a surprise. I'm very, very excited to get this one. And uh, I got my fingers crossed, and hopefully I could get this um, interview with uh, this major, major Impact Wrestling star. And also, if you haven't heard, I have other interviews that are up right now on the Impact Lounge. Uh, If you haven't heard the Josh Alexander interview, if you haven't heard the Larry D interview, if you haven't heard the Alexia Nicole interview, uh, those interviews are all up right now. Also, Cody Diener, uh, Cody Diener interview uh, should be up by now. Uh, If you haven't heard that, uh, feel free, go give it a listen, and if If you haven't subscribed yet to the Impact Lounge, please hit the subscribe button and uh, subscribe uh, to the Impact Lounge right here. Um, All right. Well, that said, I just want to say thank you very much for listening. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.